Um, I lost the uh, paper, scissors, rock, so I'm going first. Um, I guess uh, it's probably no secret. Um, obviously, going to retire at the season's end um, with the with the latest injury um, and the severity of it, uh, I've, I've really got to consider um, my future and my health. Uh, I've you know, had a had an operation that um, you know I'm pretty confident will be successful, but if it's not, uh, or I re-injure it, you know I've only got a couple of options, and and one of those would be to fuse my wrist. So. Uh, 29.30, that's probably not what I want to be doing. Um, I mean, I'm not, uh, I'm not that great on the guitar anyway, but I imagine I'd be worse with a fused wrist. <laughs> um, so, uh, I mean, obviously, this club has been my home uh, for 11 years. And um, from the top, from Trevor Nisbet, uh, John Worsfold giving me the opportunity um, to fulfill a dream to play AFL football um, from a really young age. Uh, loved the West Coast Eagles, um, Perth born and bred and uh, dreamt of playing for this football club. Um, firmly believed that I would, even though I was pretty small and pretty skinny and, and told that uh, that wouldn't be the case. Uh, and all I needed was, was an opportunity and I knew that I had the work ethic and the desire to, um, to succeed and uh, John and Trevor Woodhouse and um, the football club gave me that opportunity. Um, uh, Ian Miller, who's been a, a great friend um, throughout the whole journey and um, has looked after me from day dot. I remember when we had uh, just the small partitions in there, there wasn't even any offices, so um, the club's obviously come a long way in there since, uh, since I started. Um, the medical staff, obviously, uh, Dr. Rob Moore, Jared Taylor and uh, Alex Strawn of late uh, for uh, trying to fix me up and get me back out there and um, giving me the best op possible opportunity to, um, to play AFL football for this great club. Um, that goes in line, obviously, with the sports science guys, um, Glenn Stewart, uh, my showering buddy. Um, private joke that one. <laughs> um, uh, AJ and Wheels especially over this last um, couple of years always working with me when I've been doing my rehab um, and Warren Coford obviously who has become a best mate um, not just a fitness coach. Uh, the physios um, Mark Finnecane, Paul Tucker and Chris Perkins um, would, I would really appreciate if you, if you got yourselves on a physio board somewhere and just granted me a physiotherapy degree so I could start practicing because I'm pretty confident I know more about it than you blokes. But um, <laughs> thank you for, for everything, uh, for not just being my physio, but um, being a, a psychologist, someone to bounce things off uh, when times were pretty tough. Um, and uh, obviously you guys. Um, there's, uh, there's guys that I've played football with my whole 11 years. Um, Glassy Curry, Bowie Embers, Sellers, Pritta, Butsy, Coxie. Um, and there's guys that I haven't got to play a game of footy with, but I've trained with and I've sweated with and I've, and I've aspired to play alongside. Uh, thank you for making uh, the tough times a little easier. Um, I hope I've... I hope I've inspired you in some way um, with everything that I've gone through and tried to overcome to play football with you guys. Um, you're a huge part of who I am today, as is this club, and um, the friendships are, are going to be ongoing and uh, I mean, I've got, a, I've got a best friend out of it as well. Um, so I, th I thank you for for your friendships and your kindness and your, your ears and your, um, your smiles and your, your care for everything that's happened over the last couple of years. Um, I guess um, just to leave, uh, to leave you with it, um, you know, if you told me 2012 NAB Cup Grand Final would be the last time I got to put a West Coast Eagles jumper on, um, I would have told you, you're kidding, I'm preparing for round one. Uh, I've just had a huge season and I'm, and I'm well placed to have another big year and 
and get a premiership medal with this with this football club. Um, but if there's one thing I've learned over my time here is that uh, you never can take for granted the opportunity that you've got. Every time you get to pull on that blue and gold jumper, um, you should be smiling on the inside. And every time you get to run up on that oval or on the MCG or wherever it is, you should be smiling because we've got such a great opportunity here. And um, it's only short lived and you never really know when your time's up. So um, I said to Wush on Monday, uh, when one day when he reflects on his coaching career, I hope he remembers me as um, someone who uh, gave everything for the team and tried absolutely everything to make sure he was the best possible <coughs> player for this football club. Um, and I hope that you guys will view that as the same. Um, and that pretty much winds it up. Um, I'm going to be around, obviously, for the next couple of weeks. Um, I'll, uh, I'll be having surgery next week to get the pins out, but I'll be riding the season out with you guys and um, be really hoping that we can uh, we can knock off a couple of these teams and sneak into the finals and, and uh, upset a few people. But thanks uh, very much and um, good luck.